so we're in the middle of January 2023 took the Christmas holidays off New Year's off and <clears throat> been working on little piddly things uh, once the cab was in place but we're gonna paint all this stuff today uh, pretty good day here in Texas and we're just kind of getting things ready we got to catch some of the lower edges that we missed when we had it flipped over and so we'll catch all these lower edges right here and uh, all these lower edges here some of these brackets and a hinge hinges for the doors hinge for the uh, hood and again all these fenders I have to have the little bit of the backside painted and then we've got this uh, strip right here that um, that goes on the dash it's like a little trim strip I'll give you an idea and then um, get that all done and then over here in the other barn uh, we've done some work <clears throat> on the cab uh, one of the bigger things is getting the air conditioning in place from vintage air and that's been a little bit of a struggle it's not a not an easy thing to cram 10 pounds of potatoes in a five pound sack which is what it felt like doing but um, we've got it up there and um, here's a bolt right up there that you got to pick up and that's kind of hidden jewel and uh, the other thing we got in place is the uh, throttle pedal this is a low car throttle pedal for like a GMC pickup truck and then the steering column is in place now and uh, I'll come around the other side here and tell you how I did that. This is a bracket right here that'll go up into the headliner area. This was cut out by probably some owner prior to the guy that I bought this from when they put that moon roof in. So I'm gonna reestablish that bracket I bought this from uh, mid-50s, and actually it came from Dennis Carpenter. They must have had to order it. It's for a 56 pickup truck, but that doesn't really matter. We'll make it work. Then I uh, haven't really done anything in here. Um, I did put a, right here, this piece right here has a throttle spring right here. So when I did the uh, gas pedal, and here's the link to the gas pedal. Uh, one of the other things we put in place is this remote master cylinder. It's got a couple little nylon lines. Um, really the hard part for putting the steering column in is right here, this the distance that the column penetrates the firewall in conjunction with that U-joint, in conjunction with um, the uh, column shift linkage, which is right there. And so what happens? So that linkage, um, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you gotta take into account. And uh, so when you shift you know, from park to neutral to drive, that linkage is gonna go down. And when it goes down, you have to clear the brake pedal. You can see it right there. There's a three eighths uh, kind of curved looking part. What happens when you step on the brake pedal, that comes out so you can't interfere with the shifter. And so it's a, it's really a ballet to put it in. 
Now, the other thing that took place is I custom bent that shifter linkage, which is a low car shifter linkage, uh, to match the um, transmission, the back of the engine case, all the way down to, you can kind of see some stuff down there, but this is all, <clears throat> this requires a lot of thought. So coming back up here into the cab, the original mid-50 uh, kit that he bought from Vintage Air had a different duct right here. Now he cut the holes in here. And then he cut the hole for the Vintage Air control panel. And then he cut the hole for that center duct and then you can see right here, when he cut this hole, he didn't consider it the vintage air air conditioning. And so that's going to not work. And then over there. So what we had to do was um, we had to buy some more of this tubing. There wasn't enough of this tubing really to do a good job. And uh, then getting all that tubing crammed up into the dash, you can see it's just a snake's nest and then your wiring and that sort of thing. So it's all in there. Um, but what I had to do with Vintage Air was the original ducts that came with the kit didn't have enough thread to go through the dash and pick up the um, little plastic piece that allows the duct to attach. And I'll kind of show that. So here's what the brake pedal and the uh, plate that I put in. And the way I did this plate was I took a piece of Lexan, clear plastic. I put that where that plate right now that has all the fasteners in it, put that in there so I could locate the hole for the steering column to go through. And you can see the steering column has this eyeball type uh, mounting bracket down low. That has a set screw that grabs the steering column. And then over here, you can see that the bracket and the cutout for the brake pedal, how close they are. So using the clear Lexan, you can kind of get all that figured out before you start cutting big holes and holes. And then you can also match drill the Lexan by just kind of locating on the Lexan where your existing fasteners are at. And then you take that and you transfer that onto a piece of sheet metal. And it gives you a, a pattern that you can use to do all this with. So that's kind of where we're at in the cab. And I'll show you here um, in this box what I'm talking about. This piece right here is the original piece that goes up there. And this did not have enough threads on it for me to put it into that curvature where the hole's at. So we bought these uh, from Vintage Air. We went over there, they're right here in San Antonio. And a guy named Alex helped me and D out and uh, it fits perfect. It's a much better look. Uh, you can kind of back out of here, kind of show what's going on. So we're getting real close. You know, we're gonna take, the next step here is to take all that wiring harness that was here before and cram it all up into there and then through the holes. So that's kind of where we're at in the cab. I haven't really done anything else inside this room other than uh, just try to get everything into the cab that we can. Um, I was trying to explain that throttle spring and the bracket. So that kind of gives you a better look. So it grabs the bottom of the quick fuel carburetor and that's a low car bracket and spring system. There's actually two springs there. And so when you step on the pedal, you get a pretty good snap back. So this is a, another look at one of the brackets, kind of looking down through the hole in the vent cow vent. But with, you have to, this bracket right here, has to have two fasteners 
So you have to bend this arm out of the way. And again, you're trying to stuff all this up into this very small space. Um, Anyway, let's go back outside and uh, we'll see. Here's the bracketry. The tube is the uh, coming out of the evaporator. That'll be a drain line. And then this is the plastic bracket that they give you to pass all those lines through the firewall. And that goes through an existing hole right there, they all kind of go through. You know, each one of these trucks, when you get them, is kind of different. It's always a surprise. Now this is the original firewall, but it had a few more holes in it that, you know, don't show up on the vintage air documentation, but you know, that's what you gotta deal with. So let's go outside and see what we just did in the last couple hours. Um, had a pretty good paint window. And uh, there's the bed now all painted up in the original glacier blue. It took um, five quarts, yeah, five quarts to put two coats on this and um, do the uh, hood, get all the spots I was talking about earlier trimmed in so you don't see all the primer, you know, the inside of the fenders here. And here's the door hinges and the hood hinges and the hood cover plates. And then there's this strip that goes down the, and here's the, all the fenders are painted up. This is the, more of the, this is the passenger side fender. And then we have a little bit of touch up to do on one of the rind boards down there so you know, again this is a single stage nason 2k full thing paint and then there's the mirror all painted up back side of the hinges anyways that's where we're at at the uh, middle of january 2023 and uh Next week, we'll have a little bit more done. But uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, see some new uh, views of what we've done. Thank you.